I'm going to preside over a satanic service, so uh, I'll be back. Salem, Massachusetts. I am here to explore. This is a town that's been here since 1624. Uh, originally was a major seaport in the uh, early colonies. Um, it has a lot, of sea, a lot of seafood, a lot of history, and is most known for, I think, a 16, in the 1690s, there was a Salem witch trial where uh, women were accused of witchcraft and then some of them executed and persecuted. So um, that's why I'm here. So I came to uh, explore the town, see what it looks like myself. Um, there are a few things that I'm looking for specifically. It's a little strange, but uh, it's a strange town. So the thing I'm looking for is the satanic simple, temple, excuse me. I'm here to see the satanic temple and uh, I'm hoping to find somebody to talk to and find all about it because uh, when I hear it, it's not based on the name, it's not what you think it is. So I'm really interested in that. It's a weird, novel, and that's why I'm here. So if you see the house behind me, it's pretty interesting. I want you to see something. So along this house has all kinds of door knockers. So the coolest one is, for me is this hand one. It has all kinds of what some people would call junk and they made art out of it. Okay, so from what I understand, in 1904, Thomas Mackey started a, a demolition business and he would demolish houses and buildings and he would keep something from each place that he demolished. And what they did is make art out of it and collected some things and made this an interesting house. It reminds me of the Western Welder. Take this old firebox. You know, I, this is something I think I might do if somebody, if I'd had a job like that, just collect old stuff and make things out of it. I just got here and already saw something cool. Somebody said it looked like the Demogorgon from uh, Stranger Things. Going into downtown Salem. I don't know if you'd call this downtown because I drove through and it's, Salem is actually a little bit bigger than a person would think, but I think this is the oldest part. So I have a little advice if you are visiting Salem, you should uh, consider that October is the most, is the busiest. So you'll have to make sure you make accommodations for parking and lodging if you come nearby because it's hard to park. But it's a pretty exciting time. It's beautiful here and uh, it's a great time to go. Uh, I've been here in spring too. There's fewer people. What's yeah. happening? <laughs> yeah. So this place lined up. Apparently is America's oldest candy company. It might be. Hey, this was a this is where the the colonists originally came. I really dig this architecture. People are really nice up here. I don't know, people are nice everywhere really. I think if you're nice to people, people generally respond in kind. There's some exceptions, but that's that's life. Dave Ings Flowers. Hey, you love you too? <laughs> so a lot going on over here. I smell a lot of food, so that might be the reason. So I, I assume there's some good food here, or maybe there's something cool. What's happening? What's happening? Cool. If you want to see new things and learn something, Maybe you want to subscribe, maybe you don't, but I uh, appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, so look, I just saw a bunch of, a big park full of people. So I'm heading that direction. Let's go check it out. A lot of kids and stuff, but uh, I'm a big kid. Oh, wow, little fair or something going on? I, see, I didn't look it up before I got here, so I don't know what the heck's going on, but I always run into fun stuff, so let's peep it. Supreme Witch. Oven vibes. I like how they, uh, you know, women getting persecuted back in the day for accused of being witches for whatever reason. And they twisted it around and made it something to be proud of. So 
Man, I kind of lucked out guy, seeing this. Uh, oh, check this guy out. Wow. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Well, some fun people up here. I don't know how I got here, but I'm happy I'm here. So I see a pretty cool building over here. Let's check it out. So imagine that used to be a uh, church or something. It looks really cool, but it's the Salem Wish Museum. I might check that out, but I want to peep out the little fair here first. So this is a big, I guess, square, a big park. Got the American flag, got a little pavilion. And I got some set of fair going on. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Oh, there's Jesus. Excuse me, brother. Can I take a picture with you? Oh, well, maybe. There you go. All right. Thank you, man. Thanks. You too. It's no peace I found. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Camera shy suddenly. Awesome. Sorry, brother. That's oh, no, fine. That's no, right. no, good. I just thanks. Get, What's your name? Get distracted. Sorry, Mike. I'm Kenny. Kenny. You, yeah. yeah. You, MikeHastingsBand.com. Yeah, I gotta get. Uh, I gotta get some new stuff up there, man. All right. Well, hey, everybody, follow Mike Hastings. Thanks all right. Listening. Take care, man. You, man. Even uh, without the fair, this is just a beautiful park and a beautiful area. They have a nice path for people to walk around. This would be a cool place. I wonder how, how much it, some of these houses are worth. I really dig that New England style. I mean, there's lots of styles in New England. I'm just not aware of the terminology, but uh, you see a lot of common architecture up here. Look at this guy. What's going on, buddy? Hi. I think uh, New England is probably one of my most favorite areas of America to visit. Um, is it, people are always nice. It's always beautiful. I mean, really, no matter what time of year you come, it's beautiful here. And uh, I mean, look at these houses. Not every house in New England looks like that, but a, a lot of them do. And there's so much history here. And uh, so I think that kind of contributes to the culture and makes it really cool. Um, but I haven't figured out why people are so kind here. So I've been all over and it's just nice. One of these days I'll move here. I'm about to walk down this path. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm going to. Look at that. That's a cool looking house there. You got the goblin sitting up there. Can you imagine? Really nice summer day, have something to eat out there. Might wake up in the morning and have some tea right there. That'd be nice. They keep this spot nice. Wonder how long that house has been there. That's pretty cool. Bet you wasn't painted purple when they first built it. You know, I'm wondering, and I can just look this up. Oh, never mind. So this house was built by James Fairfield. He was a carpenter, 1869. So now we know. So some, of, so some of these houses are at least the late 19th century, which of course we know the town's been here since the 1600s. So walk through a lot of neighborhoods and looking for um, the Satanic Temple. So it should be somewhere on my left. I think Salem is maybe the the Halloween capital of America, I don't know. Um, but people come here and dress up as witches. Oh man, and there it is, there's the Satanic Temple. It's 
So here is the Satanic Temple of Salem. This is their headquarters here. Check this out. They made a uh, seasonal sculpture of the Baphomet statue that I'll see when I go in. So it is a self-guided tour. You can take as long as you'd like. There is one floor available today of the four rooms that are available. There is the gift shop. There is the Milton Hall that is currently showing Nona Lemon's dark escapism. There is the Baphomet statue that was designed to be sit on. So you can sit and pose in it however you'd like. And then beyond that, there's the fine arts room. Photography and videography are totally okay throughout the gallery. We just ask that you keep the flash photography out of the fine arts room in particular, just to protect the artwork. And other than that, we just ask that you do not touch the wallpaper, don't open any doors, and don't check the curtains, and just keep your mask on at all times, over your mouth and nose, even for like a photograph or a significant candle in the gift shop. If they see you with that one on, they will ask you to leave. Here we are. So, there's a lot of uh, art here. Satanic temple. Does that make you think of demons and devil worshipers and people who are against God or Jesus or whoever or or what I mean it's a it's an interesting name what are the tenets that they follow let's check it out so here are the satanic temple tenets there's seven of them let's read through them one should strive to act with compassion and empathy towards all creatures according in accordance with reason. Two, the struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over laws and institutions. Three, one body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. Four, the freedom of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend, to willfully and unjustly encroach upon the freedoms of another is to forego your own. Beliefs should conf conform to our best scientific understanding of the world, we should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit our beliefs. People are fallible. If we make a mistake, we should do our best to rectify it and resolve any harm that may have been caused. And finally, every tenant is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility in action and thought. The spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken word. <laughs> and here is the Bethlehemet statue. This represents balance. So you see he has his right hand up with two fingers, right hand down with two fingers. And you have two children, one a female, one a male black kid, white kid. So the story about this statue is that in Oklahoma City, a representative donated a Ten Commandments statue and they put it up. And what the Satanic Temple did was say, okay, well, there, you know, religious freedom, all religions are created equal. We're gonna donate this statue, which is uh, this is actually a symbol of the Knights Templar, or, or, or one of the symbols that they used. It was changed a little bit for practical reasons. It has a male chest instead of a female chest, um, so you know, they wouldn't say there's obscenity. So they donated this, and so quickly the Oklahoma City uh, Supreme Court decided that it was suddenly illegal to, you know, by state law not to have religious statues up, so they took the Ten Commandments statue down and said, nope, no satanic statue. So this was designed to be sit on, so I'm gonna go sit on it. <laughs> what does it represent to you? Are you a member of the satanic temple? Should I join? Who knows this one? I actually think I've seen this one before. Well, I think the signature gives it away. That's pretty cool. Cool miniature house. I'll check that out. Wow. It's a crazy looking thing. Check this article out from Vice News. 
Mississippi police want to arrest the Satanists who turn dead people gay. <laughs> Just over a week ago, the Satanic Temple unwavering disciples of the Prince of Darkness and aspiring Adopt the Highway participants performed a pink mass over, grave, over the grave of Westboro Baptist Church founder Fred Phelps Jr.'s mom. <laughs> I'm sure that didn't make them happy. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting here in the thrones, pretty, pretty comfy. I'm gonna preside over a satanic service, so uh, I'll be back. Well, I like this here. I like the color, I like the silhouettes. It's pretty cool. It's called Unholy Matrimony. So it's $309.67 if uh, you're interested. Why 67 cents? Do you, do you agree with the tenets of the Satanic Temple? I do, frankly. Got little candles with the Satanic Temple. Oh, there's a little lunchbox for the kids. So I have to show, I have to show you this this uh, this amazing piece of art. Check this out. Look at this. Look, this is this is nuts. So we have a guy. If you want to. Is, is this for sale here? I don't believe so. No. If you like this video, let me know. Would, would you live here? Would you come visit here? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I really would like to come live in, uh, I mean, I don't know about Salem, but just New England in general. Now this, I could, this is the house that I can imagine myself living in for some reason. I don't know what it is about it. I mean, I think I'm looking at the back. It could be the front, but I just like the color. I like, uh, you know, the houses around it. I could just picture just coming out of here and to, to either go to work or go to the store or do something cool. And then not too far away, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's water out there. What a wonderful place to, to be able to live. And uh, it's a wonderful place for a person like me to be able to visit. I like visiting places and seeing new things. I just, uh, you know, I get kind of bored pretty easy with a lot of different things. So I just keep moving and moving and moving. And um, coming, uh, coming to new places, I imagine, uh, you know, what would it be like to, what, what would the summer be like there? What would winters be like? Would it be really snowy? Would it be, is it hot in the summer or warm, humid? Is it rainy? You know, what's it like going to the store? What's it like, uh, you know, going to school, growing up? Um, you know, is this, a, is this a town where they have lots of festivals or maybe a farmer's market? Or is this a town where, you know, there's a million steeples and, you know, it's, you know, no traffic on Sunday mornings because everybody's going to church. I mean, so such a diverse country and that's why I travel it. And I appreciate you guys following me along because, uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, kind of fun to, to show everyone what I'm doing, you know. I've, it's been about a year since I started this, and I wanted to, um, you know, I kind of wanted to like reflect on that a little bit. And I guess the water is a good place to reflect on it. And, um, you know, I was really nervous when I first started doing YouTube, and uh, still really nervous. I'm an introvert, and don't get it twisted. I don't really like putting myself out there, so I kind of imagine myself talking to a friend or family member and um, you know because you all are friends and family members and less otherwise said so so um, you know it's nothing but love but uh, it, it was maybe last October November when I first did and I actually started in New England now that I think about it so here I am and uh, I think I'm gonna keep going at it so we'll, we'll see what happens but thanks for watching I appreciate you guys and I love you take care